ones. So today we are going to continue on with our procedural writing and today we are going to be learning and writing about how to make a sandwich. So you can choose whatever sandwich you like to write about today. So today I'm going to make a pizza sandwich. So my title will be pizza sandwich. My goal is to make a pizza sandwich and my materials. So today I'm going to be using cheese, uh, tomato paste, um, I'm going to be using two slices of bread and I've got a plate, a butter knife and I'm going to be using my sandwich press. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get some tomato paste on my knife and spread it onto my bread. I'm going to make sure that the bread is covered. I'm going to make I'm making this for Marvin, so I'm going to put lots on. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is get my cheese and sprinkle it onto the tomato paste. Very good. Then I'm going to get my other slice of bread and put it on top. Now, usually I'd put butter on the top as well, but I have ran out of it today, so this is just going to have to do. All right, so next what I'm going to do is put my sandwich in the sandwich press. I'm going to make sure that it's plugged in and turned on, which it is. Um, and then I'm going to pop it on my sandwich press. Now, remember, if I had butter, it'd be a lot better, but that's okay. And then close the sandwich press. And we're going to wait for the green button to light up by itself. That's when we'll know when it's ready. Okay, so I'm going to check on my sandwich and see how it's going. Ooh, look at that. Look how the cheese has melted over. That looks too yummy. Oh, very good. Okay, so I'm going to pick my sandwich up. Pop it on my plate. Now, to serve... I'm going to cut it in half with one hand with my butter knife. Very good. And then it is ready to be served. Thanks. <laughs> okay guys, so I've moved on to writing my procedural writing. My title is Pizza Sandwich. My goal, to make a yummy pizza sandwich. The materials, I was very specific. So remember, shredded cheese, tomato paste, two slices of bread, not just bread, because remember what happened in class grade one HD, Miss Gehring put the whole loaf of bread on the toaster when we're making dough. So remember, be really specific, two slices of bread, a butter knife, plate, and a sandwich press. I've included my steps. Step one, get your materials ready. Plug in your sandwich press and turn and turn it on to heat up. Step number two, with your butter knife, spread some tomato paste onto one slice of bread. Step number three, sprinkle shredded cheese onto tomato paste, onto the tomato paste, then put your other slice of bread on top of the cheese. Full stop. All right, so I've done my titles in different colors um it just really makes them stand out and easy to follow so you guys can do that too once you have finished your writing feel free to go over it and text her now you've got a checklist here it's your procedural writing checklist so we're going to use this to make our writing better so pretty much you just read each one and you're welcome to do it with mum and dad or an older brother or sister to help you. All right, so have you included a title? Did Miss Gehring include a title? Yes, so I'd give that a tick. Did I include a goal? Tick. Did I use a materials list? Yes. Did I number the list of my steps? Yep, I numbered my steps. I haven't finished my steps, but I've numbered them. Did I use neat handwriting on the lines? Now, you know what? I did not use neat handwriting on the line. So you guys need to use your ex exercise books that we gave you last week. So the ones with a third dotted lines, okay? Just to make your letter, um, just make sure your letters are going on nicely. See here, 
my it and my ch, my her, sorry, my it and her are the same size when my it should be smaller. So now I need to do that again. Capital letters at the beginning of every title and sentence. Capital letter. Yes, my materials are all in capital letters. Yes. Yes. Full stop at the end of every sentence. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. And sentences that make sense and are easy to understand. Well, I think they're pretty easy to understand, but I can double check with somebody. So what I need to work on is practicing my neat handwriting on the lines. All right, guys, enjoy. Have fun making your very own sandwiches and we cannot wait to see them.